So when this bus came in, he had a, a list of complaints. Among them, top of them was suspension issues. Um, and he had just had this bus out at a high-end luxury coach facility in Las Vegas, surrounded by Prevos all over the place. And uh, they had it up on a lift and they, they replaced a, a leveling valve on the suspension and that was all. And you know, within 10 minutes uh, of each wheel that we looked at, we found major issues with the suspension on this bus. You know, the, the wheel here, the spindle, is the worst spindle I've ever seen with wheel bearing on it. <laughs> it was just atrocious. Um, just a wiggle of the wheel is all we did on the tag axle. The tag axles themselves were completely shot. Uh, you know, bearings were bad, races were bad, the spindle here was terrible. The swing arms for the tag axle were, the bushings were completely gone. They were flopping around, you know, two inches each direction. Uh, the wheels just were not safe on this bus. Uh, he had worn out rims, all kinds of issues. It was just crazy. Uh, and that they, you know, he, he just had it, another facility complaining about these issues. And, you know, five minutes a wheel, 10 minutes a wheel, we're able to diagnose all these serious issues. This, this thing was so bad, we just replaced it. It was just easier and cheaper to do. You know, that's what it looked like, rusted, no, had, had grease in years. And here's a new one that we picked up, well, a used one that we picked up that was in good shape. So we just did all this work on this bus. It was just crazy. And we're getting ready to take it out for a test drive now here. And we'll see how everything goes and uh, what the owner thinks about it. But just, you know, crazy thing, you know, broken exhaust manifolds, uh, all, all kinds of issues. And it's just unbelievable to me that this other shop couldn't even diagnose this. Special thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Stick around for your chance to win a Tesla Model X Plaid. Enter at omaze.com slash busgreasemonkey. Clear. that side, watch it. Good. That should be good. You should get it. Stay over here.
forget to uh, give it a little bit of a brake check here. Prepare yourself. Just give it a little check. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I can already tell we're more level. <laughs> Normally that drops quite a bit. Oh well. So when you go down the hill, don't pump the brakes. Just light, even pressure, and just kind of keep the pressure. Just a real quick air pressure check. We are good on air pressure, about 120, 110, something like that. Uh, 94. It's because we pumped a lot of brakes pulling out there. Yeah, it's hard to find the uh, the light tap that does do good. Yeah. All the time. So just one stab of the brake is it. Just a light little pressure. Just maintain that pressure. Yeah, don't. Don't like, don't pump it. You got it. using a bunch of air. Hopefully the steering feels a little more responsive to you. Yes. And uh, I think the uh, road noise is slowed down a little bit. Yeah, well, you'll, sure you'll know that when you hit some potholes coming up here. But. Be careful of this rock right here. Yeah, uh, yeah, right out of the drive and then the left. Clear my way. too fast here because it's so curvy. It feels nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, that level of long, taking a turn like this to the left, you know, I'd have to go like this to stay straight, so. Mash the throttle all the way to the floor. Should feel some pretty good acceleration. It's to the floor. So we've got uh, black smoke during that part. So once once the blower catches up to everything, so. Okay. Just when it's continuous. Yep. Should have been amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. That would normally be plan, plan. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes off your life. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Good. No bangs. Speed limit drops to 30. Definitely tell the braking's a little better. Well, your one one of your main brakes was oiled up, so. <laughs> yeah. Plus, they all weren't really adjusted very well. never going to have a rocket ship not having a turbo right. on here and you're always going to have some smoke especially going up hills 
when you start to get the black smoke, like you're getting it right now, starting to lug it maybe just a little bit. Um, and just, normally I would grab the third. There you go. Like this. Yep, when it's at high RPM, that's what it loves. And it's got plenty of power to do that for you. And we got a red light. We're gonna go around the square. I'm sure you've seen it a million times. Yep. <laughs> when we uh, first started poking around out here, we didn't realize you could come through here, so we went around the square all the time. Oh. <laughs> this is just the easiest way to turn a bus around. Well, it is a much improved handling bus. Some of that may be that loose sway bar mount over there too. Um, Cause when you would turn, it would allow that to move a little bit more than it should have. So when you turned, it would tip a little bit more. Yeah, but the, the airbag leveling valve issue. I even see a little improved fuel economy with the tune-up too. That won't hurt. Not at all. It definitely sounds quieter. Do you notice it's quieter without that exhaust it is leak? A lot quieter. <laughs> yeah, a broken exhaust manifold will make a lot of noise back there. I saw somebody walking with their thumb out. Yeah, these transitions right here, that is nice. Omaze launched with the mission to transform typical charitable giving. Omaze gives people a chance to dream big and win once in a lifetime prizes while helping support nonprofits make the world a better place. This Tesla Model X Plaid is really freaking cool. It has four times the horsepower of my bus. Supercar stats are not the first thing you think of when you hear SUV, but that is exactly what you get with this brand new Tesla Model X Plaid. Versatility has never been more stylish or powerful. Go where you want to go and be the first to get there with this 1,020 horsepower right at your fingertips. The stats on this thing are absolutely crazy. It does a quarter mile in 9.9 .9 seconds. You have a 313 mile uh, range, zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, and a top speed of 163 miles an hour. There's a huge 17 inch cinematic display in here. It has a glass panoramic roof. 
Uh, this thing is just really cool. I would love to have this. Just We could charge this off of our solar power here. We have almost 20 kilowatts of solar power available to us on the property. That would be great for charging a car and not having to buy gas or pay to charge it. It's just, it's a really cool SUV. Who would not absolutely love to have this? The charities that they'll be helping are Give Power and 501c3. Give Power is on a mission to provide safe, clean drinking water to the 2.2 billion people around the world in need. They use their expertise and innovation in solar technology to provide clean drinking water, food security, and light to people in need. 501c3 is at the intersection of innovation and storytelling and brings attention to the solutions that will help us build a cleaner, more sustainable, and more hopeful future. Their mission is to serve as a new type of nonprofit for a younger generation focused on energy, food, water, and shelter. So enter for your chance to win a Tesla Model X Plaid, all while supporting two great causes, Give Power and 501c3. Go to omaze.com slash busgreasemonkey. That's omaze.com slash busgreasemonkey. Thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. So I'll have you climb the hill and you'll want to kind of stop around the stop sign and put it into low gear and then climb the hill in low gear. And then, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have, I'm how gonna, low do you want? Uh, just down to one or that rock over there. Well, we did it third when we first came in here. Okay, well, you know it'll do it. You can do it again then. I'm going to have you back into the church spot. So you'll at the top of the hill, you'll actually pull forward in that gravel, kind of where that new road goes and then you swing the, the ass end around and hit the shirt spot at the top of the hill, if that makes sense to you. Good. straight over that way towards the middle of it we're, uh, we're you're gonna back in over okay, there gotcha. so if you kind of go this way yeah that's about as far as I'd probably go there stop and put it in reverse Do you have a backup camera that works uh, good for it. Keep your wheels pretty close to the wood over there, but not on. All right, so this project is all done. This bus rides so much quieter, so much smoother. It's so much safer to be on the road now. Uh, it was a lot of work. Uh, it was here for uh, two weeks and a day, I think. Um, 11, 11 days it was in the shop, I believe is what it was. Um, but we got everything done. We got found all the parts. And uh, you know, the, the owner has a lot of confidence now and been able to repair some of these other systems himself too, now that he's had the experience to kind of see what's under there and how the bus works. Uh, he's just, it's its a great bus, uh, bones-wise. It just lacks some maintenance and had some serious issues that needed to be addressed. And again, I'm so disappointed that another shop, you know, just had this and couldn't find any of these major flaws. See that white smoke rising up.
up the holler through the trees and from a mile away you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease at the top of that mountain there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run they can make it to the top sky will put them in the shop till their new life has begun Where the buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 